All right, <clears throat> when I am ready to begin to create my collage, I'm going to set out my snowflakes in the composition that I want. Remember that I need to still see the drawn snowflake you created, so don't cover up the one you drew with snowflakes. So I would begin to think about how you're going to fill the space around the snowflakes and what you want to become the emphasis or the focal point. Do you want the one you drew to become the focal point or do you want one of the cutout snowflakes to become more of the focal point? So I want my drawn one to be more of the emphasis. So I'm not going to make um, snowflakes right up next to it. I'm going to spread them out a little farther away. And I have all this empty space here. So I'm going to start to arrange with my snowflakes what this could look like when they're glued down. And it is okay to have some snowflakes go off the edge of the paper because we can cut that off once this is dry. So I think I might have a little bit of this one in the corner with maybe some of that purple in the center. All right, so I feel like this is going to kind of be the layout of my collage. So now I'm ready to start to glue things down. You have to consider what is touching your background painting because those need to be glued down first. So I'm not going to attach this purple one yet because I have to glue down the white one underneath it. So what I like to do is I like to um, open up my glue bottle, untwist the top, and then get a little bead of glue I have to shake it a little bit. Okay, so there's my little bead of glue. When I glue this down, I am, I like to hold it with one hand and then kind of peel back the snowflake and then I'm just going to do dots of glue. I don't know if you've heard an art teacher say dot, dot, not a lot. So I'm not doing huge chunks of glue. I'm just doing little dots where the snowflake is going to touch the painting. Okay, so that's just teeny tiny little glue dots. Now I'm just going to press with my hand to start to get it to attach. And when I press down, the glue is going to spread. So that's why I just need tiny little dots. If you're struggling to control your glue bottle to get little tiny dots, another thing you could do is get a piece of paper towel out from under your basket, squeeze out a little bit of glue. So you've got a little piece to grab from. Then I can give you a toothpick that you can use to pick up just a little bit of glue. So I can dip my toothpick in the glue and now I could just use my toothpick where I peel back my snowflake and I just begin to do the dots with the toothpick on the edges. So I'm not worried about getting glue on every single surface. I'm just putting little bits of dots of glue here and there. So I'm going to scoop up a little bit more on my toothpick, lift it back, and I can see the edges that still need dots of glue. And then I press down. Okay, when I get to this outer edge where these snowflakes are coming off the edge of the paper, I don't need to put glue on the very top of these because it's not touching the paper. So I might get my toothpick closer to where it's touching the paper and do some dots here and here. And then I'm going to work my way around the snowflake just doing little dots of glue wherever there's contact. And then I like to use my whole hand to flatten it out. Okay, so then if this little purple one was going to go in the center of this, now that the white one is glued down, now I'm ready to work on my purple one. So I'm going to add a little more glue to my paper towel, maybe. There we go. Okay, I'm going to pick it up with my toothpick. I'm going to hold this in the center where I want it placed. And you might consider if you have words on your um, magazine cutout, do you want the words to be read easily? If this is the position, 
I imagine my art piece to be displayed, then maybe I don't turn my magazine to where you can read the letters. Maybe I make it at an angle or maybe I make it upside down so that the people looking at the artwork aren't um, distracted by trying to read what it says because it's upside down. So this is how you're going to proceed to attach your snowflakes with little dots of glue to get them to adhere to the surface to create your collage. All right, once I have my snowflakes glued down, if there's any that need to be trimmed, now that these are glued to the surface, I can just take my scissors and I can cut off the extras that are hanging off the edge. And then that'll also show you if you should glue things down any better. If these are peeling off the paper, you could always stick a little more glue underneath those bottom edges to keep them from lifting off the surface. All right. Um, when you've got everything glued down and everything is secure, then what you're going to do is go put this back in the drying rack so it dries overnight and then I will be um, grading these and you'll be getting them back later.